So I'm outside, I'm going to cut my MBVS, it's in ground, and it's a pretty nice looking tree, and you can see um, it's got a lot of uh, branching off of the trunk, but I have this one issue um, on the trunk, but I'm going to try to take care of it right now, show it to you. All right, so here's the ground. Look at this nice root. Um, I got to cover this up. It's got some roots getting exposed there when these leaves came off. Um, okay, so look at this right here, this damage. Um, don't know what caused that, and it kind of had this little, I cut this right here, um, and it kind of healed itself around, and this is kind of one of the main straight up um, trunks here but and it's got two here but it's got a lot of other trunks and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right here um, or no cut it right here and just get rid of uh, this issue and not have it next year so that's where I'm gonna cut it right there um, let's see I'll use this handy dandy Japanese blade handsaw Well, everything looks pretty good. Um, might be a little bit of rot right there. Um, got a little hole right there. So you never know. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. So that's it, I cut this MBVS and see not sure what that was um, but certainly it's um, fighting something damage bugs who knows what but uh, this way uh, hopefully cut it out and I got a bunch of cuttings now above this point right here of MBVS but um, that's gonna hopefully um, have a healthier tree as a result. So um, keep at it. Got a couple more outdoors to cut. I have a long doot that's really big. Got to cut that one and get some cuttings off of that. And I'm cutting these just to shape them a bit. And um, you know, they don't need to be eight foot tall and, and wrapping an eight foot tall uh, tree over the winter time. So taking them down to uh, three or four feet is fine as well. Please subscribe and keep growing figs.